now to stand up and give that moral lead that is needed. My name is Elise Tempelhoff. I'm um, environmental journalist for Media 24. I have a question for, uh, actually a, s a comment for Reverend Tyndall. Um, I didn't really follow, uh, I didn't go to the plenaries in it, but I know more or less what happened with the uh, political uh, negotiations. But the person that you said that you were talking to the Minister of um, Environment in Canada, who says that he understands the signs. Was he not the person that the, the Canadian youth turned their backs on? So why did he make the decision to get out of the um, negotiations while he understands the signs? You needn't answer me, but I mean, I just want to conf have you confirm that it was actually the, the Minister. Oh yes, to answer your question, the first part of your question, it was Minister Kent on whom the Canadian Youth Delegation six members stood and turned their backs. Uh, it was Minister Kent who convinced me yesterday that he understands the science and spoke about a disaster in the making. He would argue that Canada is here to engage in a new universal ambitious um, uh, agreement. It, many of us find it hard to understand why, why we wouldn't commit to a second period of Kyoto when that a commitment period of Kyoto when that is, in our view, the best way to stay in the game and negotiate toward what really needs to happen. Thank you. We have just one minute left. Are there any last quick questions or comments? Thank you. I'm a member of civil society and a member of a church congregation. And I would say that we are looking for signs of hope. And, and I would just like to say that I hope the faith communities will be able to mobilize and create a new vision and give us hope for the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And you can meet us outside if you need to talk further. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.